Get down. Comes the time. Comes the times in everybody's life. Another day, another fucking struggle. Shit gonna never stop. Fucking rain fucked up the swaver. All up. Got me all wrinkled up in this bitch. You know how I'm at the house, but I've been here for a couple days. I had pneumonia, girl. And I woke up coughing up all this blood, and I got out the hospital because I was real weak. And he brought me here to Franklin Square, and then I'm all messed up. You're not at Franklin Square, man. Where am I? You're at Frank Joseph. I'm at Frank Joseph. I, I don't even know what goddamn day it is. Monday, Tuesday, or Saturday, or what? Yeah, yeah. and I. You wouldn't think I would be in here because I went to sleep feeling fine the night before. I woke up the next morning. I had uh, pain in my hip. Then I started vomiting. And when I started vomiting, it was blood. And basically, that made me alarm. And he said, I got two. Well, we're going to not send you, huh? Because number one, you have pneumonia in both of your lungs. Number two, <coughs> you're... Uh, you have two bleeding ulcers. So we have to stop the bleeding on the inside first. And then deal with it because if you hadn't got here, you would have been dead if you had just laid down and think that it was nothing. But anybody knows if you start coughing up blood to get out the house and go to the hospital. And I'm a nurse. I took care of enough people you know not to do that. See my mother come out the hospital, I just gotta lock back in the grind mode. I mean having two deals having been the biggest success story on the hip hop world in your city or your area teach you a lot man and then you still don't really make it it's the funny thing to make you go extra harder so I'm always focused next time I'm getting the studio he that had the key of God's man he that opened and no man shut up and shut up and no man open. I know that works behold I have cut before this <laughs> and no man can shut it for thou has a little strength and has kept my word and has not denied They ain't gonna make that nobody. Yeah. They want their motherfucking work. Talking about don't smoke. How you gonna have a studio with and you can't smoke it? Everything. I'm famous, bitch. I got a reality show. I can do what I want. It's like. <laughs> Ever. I said I was gonna stop. Ever. But I lied, bitch. <laughs> Turn the beat up a little bit. Getting money. You ready? I ain't say who you fuck. You just fuck somebody that was part of this game. Did you fuck or not? <laughs> Did you fuck her? Oh, crazy. Yeah, you better go check out this event. Um, what is this? Serious about your health and awareness expo. Talk to these people in here. Show my face. They probably don't really give a fuck. There's probably a whole bunch of people in here that hate rappers. And yeah, shit. They think all we do is get high and drunk. Don't give a fuck about our health. <laughs> <laughs> Got the beat. Five star production. Roll a blunt, get high, look in the mirror, see a star. Spit a smoke cloud, swallow the moon for I fall. Sunshine on rainy days, pray my pain go away. Snow plow, move the white and watch my dreams fade away. Like MJ. Hey, I'm hungry. I'm walking there eating, man. I'm going to the wrong <laughs>
party in the I think health is good because a lot of people see your artists, we see us, we get high, we get drunk, we be drinking, just thinking like, yo, they abusing their body and what they do. But I see a lot of artists, like I'm on, I still work out, I'm still running, catching me, I'm working out, like I'm balancing, you know what I'm saying? As much shit I take in, I'm going to do that. Health and wellness expo. Let's get serious, health what? Health and wellness expo. We're talking about taking a serious look at your health. Two. Hi, I'm Cherie Colfield, founder and CEO of Cherie Colfield International. I'm here with Baltimore's own boss, man. I want to thank you for coming out to the Let's Get Serious Health and Wellness Expo 2011. Everyone is taking a serious look at their health and wellness. I and mean, that's what you got to do out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Growing up is kind of hard, especially for the youth and the teenagers. You know what I'm saying? That temptation, really practice safe sex out there. You know what I'm saying? Go get your physical daily checkups. Take care of your body, you know what I'm saying? Work out. A lot of people just eat. You know, work out. You know what I'm saying? Health is a big way to keep you living in life. Like, you got to worry about your health. Like, you, you hear the shit I talk and the guy likes to fuck. You put on a condom. That's why you can't be getting too blasted or getting too high. Because when you high blasted, you ain't thinking. You ever been in that situation where you really want the pussy? Both of y'all really don't really want to use the motherfucker. And you be drunk and fuck up and don't do it. That shit will cost you your life. Ladies and gentlemen. Hello, everyone. Again, I want to thank everyone for coming out today, supporting health and wellness. I have here with me Baltimore's own entertainer, Boss Man. Guys, give him a round of applause. He has a busy schedule, and he came out today because he said this is an important event. Y'all can do better than that. I had this plaque made up for him. Sharif Cofield International thanks Baltimore's own Boss Man for supporting healthy lifestyles. Let's Get Serious Health and Wellness Expo 2011. I want to present that to you. Because you can do a lot of different things, but this is something positive that you're going to um, give back to the community. We appreciate it. Well, first of all, thank you again for this plan. You know, you know what I'm saying? This is a special event y'all doing out here. We need more positive stuff in Baltimore City because everybody know like our youth and everybody struggle. They not really aware of what they're doing. Especially a lot of kids are not going to the doctors and taking care of their health. So just to come out and represent that, that was a good look. Bossman4Note.com. Thank y'all a lot. Product of a 80s crack baby, I'm gone, they can't see me, I'm lost, but I'm winning though, nail myself to a cross, even though I'm sending yo DNA of a general, mind state of a genius, my bars on Mars and I bust a nut on Venus, Space Jam Jordans, ain't no telling what my genes is, shots ain't subliminal, my microphone's a Nina, only God can judge me, I ain't got no subpoena. This game about this joint, gotta be a nice plaque, I be getting a lot of plaques, Dang. Like a lot of positive stuff. I got, man, I got a good positive influence. Cause it was a lot. Of, it was a couple people in there that was definitely about their health. You see, a couple people was massive. Definitely a couple healthy looking people. <laughs> it was massive. Man. Wow. That was a nice little event. He had no liquor in that joke. I guess they were yeah, like safe with your health. I guess they would have been doing it. But why they was trying to sell you shit? Man, dead president, stash my money in a car fan. It'll be for the iPod, jamming with a walk band, running shit. Never had no love for the government. 